Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we'll look at the second benefit of using generics and that is it eliminates the need for typecasting. Now for explaining this, we'll continue from where we left last time. So first, let me remove these two statements which were giving us compile time error. Okay. Yeah. Now, if I want to access data from the student array, then I need to do something like this. Student let's say student1 is equal to, then I need to write uh, the array name and then specify the index in square brackets, right? So this should work perfectly fine, right? Now, in case of a non-generic version of array list, if I do something like this, list dot get, and here if I specify the index, then here we are getting a compile time error, which says, type mismatch cannot convert from object to student. And that is because this get method returns us an object type of data, which we are trying to capture in a student reference, right? So here we'll have to do type casting. So I need to cast it to student. Okay, so this will eliminate our compile time error. Now, this case should work fine with these two records or these two objects. And that is because here we are actually uh, passing student objects to this list. But in this case, we have entered a teacher object. So here, even though we are not getting a compile time error, if we try to access this object, then we'll get a runtime error. Okay. Now I'll also show you what type of runtime error I'm talking about. So this is the runtime error class cast exception teacher cannot be cast to student. Okay. So again, this is uh, one of the disadvantages of a non generic version. Okay. Now let's try to access data from a generic version of array list. That is our student array list. Okay. So here, if I want to access data, I just need to do student three is equal to student list dot get. And here I just need to specify the index. Okay. So this should work fine. So with generics, uh, we don't have to do type casting over here, right? Now what we'll do is we'll run this program. But before that, let me add a two string method to our classes. So I just go over here and type shift alt s, then select generate two string from here. Now make sure that both of these fields are selected and then click on OK. Now similarly, I'll do it for our teacher class, shift alt s, generate two string and click on OK. Right. So this two string method will be used for displaying the data from our objects. Okay. So as you can see over here, it is just displaying the data, right? similarly over here. Okay. Now let's go back. Now here, what I'll do is I'll just write a system dot out dot print in statement. So I'll say sys out control space. And here I'll just print a string. Let's say student array colon. And then I'll just append this student object to it. Okay. Now similarly, I'll do it for our other lists. So I'll just copy it from here and paste it. And in this case, the name would be list and our object is student two. Now, similarly for our last list, in this case, it is student list and our object is student three, right? Now let's review this one more time. So in this case, uh, since the index is zero, uh, this object should be displayed. In this case, since the index is one, this object should be displayed. And since uh, this object is actually of type student, we should not get any runtime exception. Okay. But if it would have been two over here, then in this case, uh, we should get a runtime error or runtime exception. Okay. Because the object is actually of type teacher, right? Now in the last list, uh, the index is one. So this object should be displayed, right? Now let's run this program. Okay, uh, let me expand this console. And yes, guys, uh, our program is working fine. The output is displayed properly. Now what I'll do is I'll just change this index to two. Okay, and now uh, we should get a runtime exception. And yes, we are getting a runtime exception saying teacher cannot be cast to student. 
right? Now, uh, one more point over here. Why do we have to do typecasting? Okay, we can simply do one thing. We can just write object over here and just remove the cast, okay? Now this should also work fine. But when you do this, you will not be able to access any student specific properties or methods because here the reference is of type object. So you will not be able to access any student specific data. So that's why we have to do typecasting, right? So the whole purpose is to get a student object, right? So typecasting is essential over here. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial.